Welcome everybody to another week here at the Tolerin. Julie's working inside, cleaning upstairs in the second floor, getting Elias's room and hallway and some of the other area cleaned out. And what I'm doing is I'm starting on getting all the shrubs cleared so that the roofers will have access to put up the scaffolding without obviously having all that shrub in the way. You guys, Emmanuel did a really good job here. It is really cool to see how this room is coming together. <clears throat> I think we're gonna put a railing here. Um, railing or a wall? I'm thinking railing. I think mm -hmm. it'll be so fun for the kids to be able to look down here at each other and play in here. Hi guys, so we are trying to clean the house from the top down now. Um, starting to get the last little bits of insulation out and uh, just little bits of things that we haven't gotten cleaned as we went <clears throat> as we've been working so as we get everything um, really top down done then um, Emmanuel will be ready for the electrical that's something I can do to help him get that already electrical and insulation
I think I should have done this a while ago. This gives us such a nice view with all the shrubs of um, an unobstructed house. I still have to take this tree down. I didn't want to do it myself. Obviously, I could have just taken it down, but I have all the, the slate underneath it there. I don't want to have it fall on it, so I'm going to have some help next week. Um, also, need some help next week for just taking out some of the bigger stuff. Um, it's just too, too heavy for myself alone, so I'm going to have some people come and help me pull it out on the side of the street. Um, if people are wondering why am I just putting this on a pile on the side of the sidewalk on, on the sidewalk here, um, that's actually regulation in our city. You put it all on the sidewalk because once a month for each street they have somebody pick the stuff up. So if you're wondering why I'm taking down all the shrubs and bushes here, even though it might not be in the way of getting the scaffolding up, actually I'm taking them down not because I don't like them or anything. It's mainly because when they did some of the digging out for the water damage before um, the previous owner, they just dumped all the old bricks, all the old uh, blocks that they took out um, right here. And so all the stuff just overgrew it. And I need to clean this out anyways. So we need to take this whole shrubbery out so we can actually get this area clean before we landscape it to be more permanent. It's crazy with all the brush gone, you can really see the magnitude of all the slate that we have here. Um, I know it didn't look like a lot of it when you saw it before in the video probably, but this is actually 12, 13,000 pieces of slate. So still have to figure out what we're gonna do. If we are fixing the slate roof or we are replacing it for brand new slate roof or a metal roof. We're still weighing the options Obviously, there's a big a price difference between all the three options and um, also longevity issue uh, questions that we need to answer. So Julie and I kind of come, came up with an idea of what we want to do, but uh, we still want to weigh the options and then get it all scheduled. So I'm sure in the next few weeks we'll figure it out and let you guys know. Well, I think this is it for this week. I'll see you all next time I turn on the camera. Bye.